Amen. God bless you, church. Mark that though. Give the Lord a clap offering, please. Amen. Let's send in our children's class. Amen. All the children, you're welcome. Janka Tomato class. Mugodil. I pray now blessing for the Glatik, the Janka Lingo class. Make the Sikyon, make the Halyarin. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. All the children, you're welcome. Janka Tomato class. Amen. God bless you, church. Amen. I still want to stay, Pegodo Gundo, about what is a Christian and what is a true believer. And there's a story in the Bible, Paul, and the story said the prodigal son. I know many of you must have heard the story before. But told about a man that had two sons, Yek Besolis and Yek Janelumia. And you probably heard many understandings, many teachings, many ideas, Pegodo Gundo. But there's a few things, I guess, that manga is so amazing that it has to bring Musaibil the Pawela Marotlai. It has to somehow change. <laughs> Amen. It has to somehow change us. A little lower, Peter, please. So, if you know the, the scripture, Luke chapter 15, verse 11. Because God is the Bible in summer. Luke 15, 11. Jesus continued, there was a man who had two sons. I know you've heard this message before, this scripture before. But in summer, there was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided the property between them. Not long later, Motoli Bible Excuse me? Luke chapter 15, verse 11. Could you guys hear me with the fans on? Session, okay. Not long after that, the younger son got together all he had and set out for a distant country. And there, Motoli squandered his wealth in wild living. After he had spent everything there was, there was a severe famine in the whole country, and he began to be in need, um, I don't know. So he went and joined himself to one of the citizens of that country who sent him out to feed pigs. He longed to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. When he came to his senses, he said, how many of my father's hired men have food to spare? And here I am starving to death. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I've sinned against heaven and against you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son, but make me like one of your servants. So he got up and went back to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. So he ran to his son, drew his arms around him and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I've sinned against heaven and against you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to the servants, quick, bring the best robe out, put it on him, put a ring on his finger, sandals on his feet, bring the fatted calf, bring the celebrating calf, let's kill it, let's have a feast and celebrate. Why, Motol? For this son of mine was dead and now is alive. He was lost and now he's found and they began to celebrate. Amen? I mean, you see a beautiful story at the end of a celebration with the Holy Bible. What a beautiful story. What, a, what an amazing thing. And he comes back to his father, the Holy Bible, and his God goes all out for him. He goes all out. He killed the fatted calf, put a, a ring on his finger, sandals on his feet, bring a robe, and then let's celebrate what a what an amazing thing I wonder how we treat Putivar Amari family when they go into the world like Karen Idenem Polajav do we do we treat them with favor do we welcome them back in do we what do we do we my boot Holya was to be spent in there I don't want to see you for a week go away from me but an amazing Motuli Bible Sukadiakakudad how he went all out to welcome his son but the Bible says something 
how it started. Sar rimosailo, como toda Bible rimosailo, pesco trayo, and the pesco gundo. It all started when I left pesco barvali mos penga. Father, give me my share of the estate. That's where his failure began because the minute that saga dalo loveka go barvali mos go security. But all right there and then he decided to yell in the lumia, and he thought that all these things guy sasas would be secure and that they would be good enough for him to help him in his life, but they didn't help him with the Bible. No, you know what it tells me? A lot of Christians are the same way. The minute they become a Christian, the minute manus avil cristiano, all of a sudden I've noticed this and I've seen this many times that the minute a person becomes a Christian, for some reason either lingotrayo becomes better or it becomes worse. And have you ever driven without a driver's license? Without insurance for mobility? And again, you're cautious. Good night license, night insurance. If you get stuck, good No more car, two panadosan, so you're cautious. Mayra custod. But let's say you get your license and let's get your insurance. All of a sudden, now you're driving a little faster. You're not paying attention to a lot of things because you got your security. You got your license and you got your insurance. Your car is registered, so you have no problem. This is what happened to this man, and this is what happens to a lot of Christians. The minute I've been Gaudil, they get saved, they get born again, they're alive, they're no longer going to hell, they're no longer going to see the devil. So all of a sudden, we'll security, I can, I'm saved anyway. I'm secure, I can, I'm the awesome. So might as well go live the way I want. But if I'm told no, when he went into the world, we told that wealth didn't last very long. Let's go Barvalimos, Motoli Bible, he squandered. Motoli went to a distant country. He went on a journey. And Mangasa, it would have been more better if he would have went on the right journey. With all of this wealth, with all of these things. But he chose to go into the world and Motoli Bible, he squandered everything. Sasugodi says this until he had nothing. Until he had nothing. And then we told the Bible in that deep hunger, can I namaz this country, namaz freno, namaz dil, namaz da, namaz country. But told the Bible with that hunger, it drove him. Told the Bible, I asked you with a man of the world. Told he joined himself to a man that had pigs. And told the Bible, he sent him out into the field to feed pigs. In my body, lajavsa for a Jewish man to feed pigs. You don't do that. Or my body defilement, sir. But that's guy is slow. That's where he made it on the Pesco trial. But there was a great turnaround. Penin Mansa turnaround. There was a conversion on the Pesco trial. This man became born again in a mud pit. Motole Bible, Nasokal, Nas this country. And Motole Bible, and this is what I love. He came to his senses. He came to his senses. I tell you what's lacking today in the Romania. We're not coming to our senses, the Janas Konsam. That I'm not just a person. But told the Bible, I am a child of God. But told the Bible, and I can show you on the scripture, but even told worshipers, the Divinisca, believers, saints, blood bought, the church, the, the called out ones. That's what we are in. Motoli Bible, Kako Manus went out of his mind. Shavsas, Tarilas and Padesco Kur, Sasugodi Trubulas and Leskosas. And finally, Motoli Bible, Kanariswan de Lumia, he squandered everything. There was nothing left of him. Namas is not, Namas Kanchi, Namas Trayo. Motoli Bible, he was dead. He was lost. But there's an amazing thing. There's an amazing work. The Spirit of God is trying to do with the Romania. He wants to wake us up. He wants to bring us to our senses. He wants us to recognize Yigbari Bugi, to realize something. I'm going to tell the Bible when he came to his senses, something happened. Something clicked on the Neskotrao, something became real. When he came to his senses, I could also do for his Gibuki. He wants to bring us back to our right mind. Oh, Jesus, let's go. First message says, repent. Change your mind for the better. Romans 12, being, don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Proverbs 23, as a man thinks, so he is. 
This man, when in that mud pit, he was thinking as a dead man. He was no longer a child. He was a lost man. But when he came to his senses, when he came to right thinking, here's the result. Here's the result when we come to our right thinking. It's only the Holy Spirit guiding element to our right thinking. It's only the Holy Spirit nudging at your life. It's only the Holy Spirit piercing at your soul. That will stay. Can when a guy goes to sleep on a manus sovel, someone's got to wake them up. Jesus, the Holy Bible is on the in the boat sovelas, and they went and awoke him. And the Holy Spirit, Peter the Kilo Mansa Tusa, Kuchayek Buki, to wake us up. God, God gave me a word a few minutes ago, God day, while I was praying. I didn't get word about Jaman Odil. Listen to this, Sunanman, please. Odil Motopinga, why are you not loving me? Why are you not loving me? Why are you not loving me in worship? Why are you not loving me in obedience? Well, I'll tell you why. That answer, Dr. Mino answer, because why are you not loving me? Because we're not in our mind. There's a thousand things, and it's cluttered our mind with business, with family, with cars, with houses. And our mind is cluttered with a thousand things. In fact, there's no room for God to come in. Jesus, Pinafeli, Pharisees, Pinga, I see, Pinga, that you have no room in your heart for God because they were cluttered with so many things, and that's what's going on with many of us today. Amarigundia, many of us on the Kangri, Amarugundo for business. Many of us doing worship, Amarugundo, Pikachabuki, Kachabuki, Kachabuki. So our mind wanders. This man, Motoli, came to his senses. King James Motoli came to himself, which means he, he woke up. He was like a, in a, he was hypnotized. He was in a coma. He didn't realize Kaisas until the Holy Spirit wakes us up. You could be in the most sinful condition on your trail and you think you're okay, but until the Holy Spirit wakes you up, then don't you have to wait a minute. This is not the life for me. Because the life of a believer is not in the mud pit. The life of a believer is in the presence of God. The life of a believer is not being far away from God. The life of a believer is being near to God. But the Bible kind of barvardu kako manus when he got security. Kana vilodis ka security. That's when he decided to go the opposite way. Just like many Christians today, the minute they get saved, they think they're free to live the way they want. Well, Sunman, you got saved not to live the way you want. You got saved in order to live the way he wants. That's why God saved you. He didn't free you to go back into the world. He set you free so you could go back and represent him on the Illumia. That's what we're supposed to do, amen? Give the Lord a clap offering, please. Now watch this. He came to his senses. And the first thing he said, my father. When the Holy Spirit was chavotut, when he wakes you up, the first thing you're going to have to remember is to dad. And he's a loving father, a kind, compassionate father, ready to forgive, ready to heal, ready to touch, ready to go all out for you. Jesus, Pinapping, if God were your father, you would love me. So the first thing he remembered, his father. Then Pinja, Pinga, Pinga, I'll go back to him. He came back to his senses. And then Pinga, Pinga, I'm dying here. See, a true believer. A true believer cannot live in sin. A true believer can't do it. A true born again man, a true born again woman, they can't. It's a stench to them. A true believer, it's not attractive to them. A true believer, but a make believer, a so called Christian, sees the world as their playground. But a true believer sees the world as a battleground. How could I stand for God? How could I serve God? How could I walk with God? How could I defend Mugupakiamos on the deal? He came to his sense of thinking, I'll go back to my father. I'll go back. I'll, I'll get up out of this lifestyle. I'll leave the pigs behind. I'll get away out of the mud lifestyle. I'll walk out of this life and I'll go back to my father and say, I've sinned. I've sinned. That's what happens when a man comes to his senses. Halaril. Prekadim bezuch and that's what I'll do. 
That's when the Holy Spirit wakes up a man, wakes up a woman. Wait a minute. I've sinned against God. Oh, David, Lord, on the Psalms 51, against you and you only I have sinned and done evil. All of a sudden, it goes in that mud pit. In that lifestyle, he didn't thought he was a sinner. But the minute he came to his senses, Motol, I've sinned. And what does he do, Motol, the Bible? Pekka, I'll go to my father and say, Father, I've sinned against heaven and against you. And then he says a word he never said before in his life. He says a word that he never thought he could ever say. Kakumanus. Comes to his senses. He wants to go back to his father. Mangaliar Timos. He wants to be back with his father. And then he says something. Make me a servant. Those words never came out of his mouth before. This man never knew what a servant's life is. Always saw shaf. When we come to our senses, we could come to that point, Mataz Devla, make me a servant. Because he never said this before. He never was a servant before. But he won the Pisgah that this could Now, because he's woken, now his senses are real. He's alive again. Halyadol, that it was wrong. So Sadat's go try. Now he wants to come back to his father. Motol, make me. Make me something I've never been before. Make me something I never experienced before. Because Jangalis Kodan has the power to make him a servant. That's a born again man. That's a converted man. Lord, make me. Lord, make me into a vessel. Make me into a servant. Make me into a worshiper. Make me a believer. Make me a child of God. That's what's missing on the is. Men and women that are willing to cry out to Lord, make me what you want me to be. That's what's lacking on the Marotrao. That's what's lacking on the Romania. That's what's lacking on the Kangira. We're not crying out to Mutaz Devla, make me something. But we're comfortable, guys, son. But Gakoi said a word that he never said before make me a servant. Fashion me. Redo my life. Transform my life, Pinga. Pinga, I'm not worthy to be called your son any longer. I failed. I'm not even worthy to be called a child of God. But, but Pinga, make me. Because God has the power, Asunman, to make you what he wants you to be. He has that power. So finally, Motoli gets up out of that mud. Amen? And he starts going towards his father. Motoli Bible about compassion in Dadesco, the compassion of God. But told his father saw him at a distance. And but told he ran to him. Jalizangali, amen. Kissed him, but told, kissed his neck, carried him back home. In his joy to be set up as Lugipinga, killed a fatted calf. Let's make a sacrifice. Let's make an offering. Let's celebrate. Put sandals on his feet because he's walking in my house again. He's walking with me again. Put a ring on his finger as a symbol of a relationship. And let's celebrate. Because his son was dead. And now he's alive. He'll go all out for you. He'll hold nothing back. He'll hold nothing back. He'll hold nothing back to get you right with him. He'll hold nothing back. Everything that squandered on the Lumia, but told his father gave him back to him. That's the God that we serve. He's ready to receive back a sinner. He's ready to receive back Manuska Mekabilista. He's ready to receive back the one that put his back toward God. Pega, he was dead. And now he's alive. He went all out for his son. Now, if you know the history, Palet Jews, when a son dishonors his father like that, and feeds pigs, he's a dead man. You have, he's disowned. You have no right to bring him back. And to or that, if you go back to receive him, then eat to your humiliated Qatarul community. You're unacceptable to the community. You are, you are ashamed to the community. Kakot Dad, he done something. And at Kabez Kishavis, it didn't matter what the community thought. It didn't matter what the world thought. Wodi Kabez Kishav, and he embraced his son. Manga, you're not going to find a more amazing love, Qatar Gudo. 
for God to bring back a sinner. Am I a sinner 100%? Are you a sinner? Yes, you are. I'm a totally Bible. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But it's in the mud pit. Okay, he came to his senses. And he goes to try to say, I will steal all. Think of my father. My father. My father. I'll go back. I'll go back and say I've sinned against heaven and against you and make me. Make me a servant. I pray. Kayamene Gomania would come to that point in Mutaz Devla, make me. Make me. O King David, Pina Lord, create in me a clean heart, O God. Create. Make that in me. Ezekiel 36, Motolo Dopinga, Sudikara Bukiani Kyotrao, Kankalavav Kyotrao, Kane Wurta, Kuilo Kane Wurta. I'm going to take away your, your corrupted mind, Pink. I'll give you a new mind. I'll, I'll give you a new heart. That's. That's God. That's the God we serve. Amen? Father God, merciful God, as he brought him to his senses, I pray, amen, that we would come to our senses, that we wake up, that we would realize that we're living in a stench, that we're living in a life, Mugodo, that you never intended. Father, make me. Jesus, make me a make me a vessel for you. As we come to our senses, as we awaken, so we shall. Let these words be true to us. Timotas, Father, make me. Make me. Make me a servant. Make me a true child. Make me a worshiper. Make me a lover of God. Make me a true believer. Pralapeo, as God went all out, Anagakomanus, Jesus went all out for you. Jesus went all out for you. How far did he go? He took our shame upon himself. He took on God's anger upon himself. He went all out for you. He went all out for you. I mean, let's stand, please. I mean, let's stand, Kangadio. Let's stand before the Lord, please. Let's stand. Let's stand. Let's worship. Let's honor. Bring us into our right mind, right thinking. But I'll appear, if you're not living for God, if you're not living for God, then you're living on a butt pig and you don't realize it. Got so used to living the trial of Sudu, you could get used to it. You could get used to living without that. It could be normal living that Christ did it in this way, but it's not normal for a believer.
the Gomanos when he came to his senses. He did not see his father the same way any longer. Never revelation of the Lord is the Consul is God. That he was a loving, merciful, compassionate father. That he restored this Kotrayo. He established Papa this Kotrayo. In the mud pit, all of that came to reality. When he came to his senses, he recognized the true value of his father. I failed against you, Father. Well, nice They're not like our fathers here. He's not like that. Golensa, we could buddy around, play with Saifu Chavaz, Hatavaz, Cholyawas, Pelende. But God is so different. God the Father is so different. That's why Pinama Godel Mutavtuka. Why are you not loving me? Let's love him, church. Let's love him. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Because you first loved us, Godel. We want to love you back. We want to love you back, Godel. We want to love you back, Lord. We want to love you with our worship. We want to love you with our obedience. We want to love you with our life, Mugodil. Love them with your life. Love them with your obedience. Love them with your worship. Love them with your service. Communion. So Father, you what about as we do communion? Motol examine ourselves. Did he cast Kaisam Tusa? Blessing Akana. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Communion service, please.
came back to his father. He saw his father in a different light. He never saw him any other way now. But it's what he kept. A father that showed love. Total acceptance. Total forgiveness. He went all out for him. Covered him. A ring with a relationship. Feet as a place in the Delisa with his father. When he saw this,
can't even imagine the look. I can't even imagine what was going on under this Koyolo when he saw how his father received him. I know this though. When he saw this on the Biskodad, you know what was probably going through his mind? How could I ever hurt this one again? How could I ever leave him again? The minute we come to that point, the Janas Gonzo Christo, Gonzo Marudad, that's when our life will never be the same. Lord, Mogado, we bring before you baby Jason, Michael, Robert, Nancy, all the pastors, Danny, Lupe, Sylvia, Michelle. Lord, Janes will need, Janes will serve, Janes will help you. Push up your mercy, push up your grace, que je te mosque. Trade bosloi mosque, que la lava nos mogado, trade je te mosque. Trade so trubulo, ande ningo traio, ande ningo familia. Ande ningo gando, mogado, trade so trubulo. Trade so trubulo, Cristo. Sashcharo, baby Jason, mogado. Sashchar marriages are many on the photo. God. Holy Spirit. Bring us to our senses. Let us wake up from our slumber. Let's wake up to reality of who God is. Let us wake up to that. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's stand before the Lord, please. I mean, let's stand. In reverence, Karimudu, please. Amen. Thank you, Father. O sumno les kostatu ges as mardope godot rusul. Sar godot dad when he received back his son. Barola jav khalia godot dad. Jesus done the same thing at the cross. Barola Javkhala in order to bring us back home. Thank you. By his stripes, we are healed. Posto y sarka kosumno, andonav kishesko Jesus. Lena nastato. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mordor. You proved your love by allowing Jesus dying on that cross. Thank you. Bosloy Mospeka Kosumno. Andonam Kishesko Jesus. Lenandarat. Amen. 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 God bless you, church. Amen. One more, one note, please. This Thursday, please, we're going to try it one more time. Baptism teaching. If you're here at Mangaste Boljus, then you need to be Thursday night, please. Four weeks of class. Four weeks of class. It does to me teaching about Bolimos, about salvation. Well, how important is it? So, could it? So, not be stirred. This Thursday night, 8.30 at Kangari, we're going to have baptism teaching. So please be there. Tuesday night men's Bible study, the same time, 8.30. Wednesday, San Francisco. Tomorrow we're going to Denver. Keep us in prayer. I will be home for Thursday. I will be home for Thursday for church. So I give you my word on that. So let's stand. Let's thank the Lord for today. Baby dedication. Who's the baby? We have a baby dedication. Okay.
Victoria. Okay. Now, what you're doing right now, Sokarin, Anglaudil is very important, very precious. Because Anglaudil, what you're doing is you're making a covenant, a covenant to an agreement with God. That to men as Christians, you're going to raise up in Victoria to know Jesus Christ. You're not raising her up in a Catholic house, in a religious house, in a house that wants to know Jesus Christ. So your responsibility after this is to make sure as she's growing up to know Christ, to know Jesus. But you need to know Jesus. So when you dedicate her, reality, you're dedicating yourselves to the Lord. Amen. Victoria. Thank you, Lord. Father God. Sukarili familia baribu kisa. Angla tu de very important and I see to Christo. I pray modo pelendo ningo trayo yek bostoimos a spiritual blessing pelingo trayo that you would touch them, use them modo for your glory and honor on that Victoria modo. Victoria, we dedicate you now in the name of the Father, the Son Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Asawan penjam. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Church, God bless you. Jean de Blessa. God bless you, Gavilin. I guess that the most. I appreciate Gavilin. God bless you. Next Sunday, Bali, we're going to have a great time on the deal. God bless Jean de Blessa. If you want to be baptized, please give a, one of the guys your name. Oh, Jeff. Give Jeff your name, please, your number, and we'll get in touch with you. God bless.